Hi, I'm my mama. Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Picture Time? I wasn't able to make a proper video today, so instead we're going to do something like show and tell, or something of that nature. It is early in the morning, and I am going to be working all weekend, so I figured, eh, let's do a bit of historical document searching. And I'm sorry I have to talk real low like this. Wifey's sleeping. I don't want to wake her up. She becomes rather murderous if she's forced to wake up early in the morning. So this folder is aircraft pictures. And as you can tell, it is actually very, very, very old. And look at the look at the wing styles back in back in those days. I believe this is one of the very first helicopters ever built in in the Kerbal Space Program. Had a little rotor system that was in here. Some engines that help spin it around. I think I still have the video buried deep inside the channel somewhere. Okay, if that's not ancient, I don't know what is look at those air scoops bro look at those air scoops seriously that's old <laughs> Oh man, you know, I, I, I love the cockpit uh, of the old cockpit. I really, really sad that they took it out. And if you look closely, look, back in the day, the fuel and oxygen and everything was actually separated. It had its own little column. There's the jet fighter. This is a drone, no pilot. And that was the very first dragonfly. You can tell it's very old because look at these reaction wheels. These are actually the skins for the small reaction wheels. But before they became small, they were actually big. They had little missiles on the side. I don't know if you could tell, but they have like little SRBs on them. Video's still buried deep in there, but if you guys look in there, you could definitely find it. The Dragonfly. First attempt of a, a airliner. This is when I was playing around with the Parallax mod. I'm going to download the Parallax mod again. Hopefully, maybe my system can handle it. But every time I was playing Kerbal Space Program with the Parallax mod, parallax mod it would just it would really mess it up if i turn if i was driving everything would get real fuzzy if i turn left and right it was some people said you got turned down something on scatterer but i i wasn't able to make it work but it looked pretty if you just stood there and looked at it but as soon as you moved the camera everything went totally fuzzy like some sort of weird blur mechanic yeah i, I couldn't so i, I took took it off an attempt of a really fast jet back in the day that's the same jet that you saw that was VTOL landed uh well the kerbals around it just a second ago and of course this is the dragonfly but this time i put a seat on it so you see a little kerbal right there it got pretty high yeah i mean it wasn't great had a little itty bitty weasley engine on the bottom before the actual Weasley engine skin was, well, what it is now. Back then it was different. A little small propeller plane. Well, I think it had propeller on either, either side. And this was my attempt of a World War II fighter back in the day. You could tell it's back in the day because of the fact that look at the look at the gears for the wheels. They got this flat panel right there. That's, that's old. This is an attempt of a newer Dragonfly. It's got a cockpit, but it's shielded just by using a um, satellite dish doohickey. And here's a fighter craft. It has wings that fold up. It was like a little fold up fighter craft. Now this thing was massive. This was an attempt to try to carry like supplies over to the North Pole and build like a little miniature base. But everything on here, like the propellers and stuff, all these propellers were manual propellers, meaning they didn't use the robotic um, rotors. Instead, these were four different crafts that were tucked inside of a like a, a hollow fuselage they had to generate their own power and everything and then i would take the trim key which i think is uh don't get me lying early in the morning probably uh, i think it's like alt w s alt w and alt s or something like that and it would get them spinning all by themselves then i'd switch over to the another one i switch over because they're like it's like five different crafts here but they would spin inside of this uh fuselage by themselves and they would create thrust which would of course would create lift after you started moving at such and such a speed yeah this was a long time ago this was kind of like a little challenge the thing was i couldn't use any engines no engines and no robotic parts like rotors and stuff and i had to build a plane to put a whole bunch of stuff on there equipment vehicles and then fly to the north pole kind of like a little adventure and here we are a very 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 old this is before we had props okay this is before we had rotors and everything i built like a world war ii fighter aircraft and it actually flew because 
all of these are little ant engines and I used it to make make these look like um, exhaust pipes but all these little ant, ant engines on the side actually created a decent amount of thrust to get this thing off the ground and all I did was kind of like use my imagination to pretend that there was a propeller spinning right here <laughs> even had a bomb that's funny that was the newer version of the pocket fighter had guns on it using the star shot all of these crafts have uh, videos they're just buried deep inside my channel you'd have to go looking for them like a little treasure hunt oh ah now this one was actually a jet fighter that was manned this top part right here would either open up or it could blow off and there was a little ejection seat inside that would eject had a little srbs and everything in a parachute too bad i don't think i got that on picture there's the newer newer dragonfly has a better cockpit instead of like a communication thing it's just air brakes it's got six missiles on the side uh three on one side three on the other side ah there it is opened up with a little cockpit pretty cool huh i thought it was cool couldn't really go that fast but you know it was it was more of a fun craft not a serious one. Uh, there's the newer and the latest of the airliner builds. There she is again. Uh, I could rebuild it, but this is one of the ones that got deleted in the uh, massive F up. And of course, I downloaded the volumetric cloud mod from Blackrack, I believe it is. In order to get the mod, you have to go to his uh, Patreon and then... Um, like uh, do do a five dollar a month um, membership thing and then you're able to go inside of his patreon and download the mod really pretty now this one actually wasn't a it was it was part of the dragonfly series i guess you could say but i called it uh i called it a shark some sort of shark some sort of shark name had bigger missiles a little heavier oh wow this is a super old vtol ssto you can tell because the uh, air intakes are different skins as well as the ramjets in the back are different skins and underneath that's the weasley jet engine right there which is a super different skin not to mention the air intakes are <laughs> super different skins wow and the cockpit of course i'm pretty sure that like i said all these crafts have uh are in my channel buried somewhere probably probably in the very back of the channel you'd have to scroll for about a minute uh, and this is the vtol carrier craft it, it, this one actually was pretty cool i might i might revisit this and try to build another one in the back were three mechs actual mechs and they had a uh, mech, uh, they had a uh, two, um, the mechs had two missiles on either arm, right? But when they used up their weapons, they could actually go back and reload themselves. Inside here was like a magazine that would launch with the mechs as they parachuted down to wherever they're going. And the mechs would walk up to this, me or well, more like drive up to this uh, magazine and manually reload themselves. Cool thing was when it was flying, these engines on right here would of course activate, but when it was hovering underneath this this is a, um, I believe this is a uh, um, cargo bay. It opens up to reveal engines for VTOL flight, but I kind of had it to where this panel right here, this Elevon, would lift upwards, revealing three air intakes during VTOL flight. And when everything closed up, the Elevon would close, closing up, so you know, making it look like the um, air intakes were closed up. Interesting design. I might go back and check it out. That's part of the uh, career mode that I'm currently on right now, the suborbital um, aircraft to gather science that's like above 18,000 meters and all that jazz. This is my attempt of building something like, um, ah, what was that darn aircraft? Uh, I can't think of it this early in the morning, but you know what I'm talking about. The one that had the missile underneath of it and it would launch it into space and it'd be like a little satellite in there. I was actually going to make a video about that until I deleted everything. Oh, this was a very old attempt to try to get the most massive G's. And of course, this was before the G meter was even a thing for knocking Kerbals out. So I built this little craft right here and I, I forget how fast I was going before I just violently pulled up and I got uh, 164.447 G's. <laughs> Which is probably, you know, chump change now. I'm sure somebody beat the record easy. Oh, wow. This is, this, oh, wow. This is old. This was the first attempt of building an airliner. You could tell, look at the engines. The engines are a different uh, texture altogether. This is, this is a very, very old version. Still got the old cockpit and, the, oh, wow. Look at all these old parts. Good grief. Oh, this is one of the, uh, this is one of the helicopter builds I was trying to build back in the day. This is before we had rotors. So everything in here was a bunch of wheels and uh reaction wheels oh there she is flying <laughs> she's, she's trying <laughs> and this was an attempt to make an ssto that kerbals could walk around in it didn't really work all that well because back in the day if if you were a kerbal and you left your seat you 
popped out on top of the craft instead of staying in it. Yeah, that was super old. This was actually an SSTO. I don't know if I have a video of it or not. I'm pretty sure I do. Usually if I have a picture of it, then I have a video of it. But it was like a tiny little, it was a two deck. It had two decks and it was a tiny little craft. It had rooms and everything. And you entered and exited in the back. This was another pocket fighter design. It's not too far back video wise. You could, you could probably just skim down and find it. It was actually pretty cool. It kind of uh, came together like an accordion. And this, this engine right here was uh, turned into a VTOL. There's a better picture of it right there. It's kind of cool. Had little star shot guns on it. That was a bomber. And the bombs were highly effective. And there's definitely a video on that if you go skimming for it. Ah, and this is the newer um, Dragonfly. The much, much newer one. You can see I have the rotors for VTOL. And this sucker is the airship. I'm so sad I lost this one. I, you know what? I might not have. I think I took this out and uh, saved it in its own craft file. I'd have to go check. But the airship was, of course, absolutely massive and could hold a Kerbal dump truck in this big old bay. I think I have a picture of the dump truck inside the bay. That was an attempt of an airship using a Kraken, uh, Kraken docking port drives to create just enough lift to barely get this thing off the ground and then the um, propellers would do the rest. Another pocket fighter. This was an attempt of an armed SSTO. You can tell it's very old because look at the Weasley engine. Weasley engines are a different skin. And uh, it looks like that's it for this go around of story time with Veos. <laughs> so these are all just basically aircraft and if we go out we can see that we have cars, trucks, colonies, landers, odd pictures, rockets, stations, space planes, solar nations which is an old series, um, ships and then sea ships and real quick before I end this video one of the odds that I'll show you is this right here. This is the magazine rack that I was talking about that would eject from behind uh, first before the mechs would in that hover vehicle. I'm um, well hover, you know, VTOL. VTOL aircraft. And this is the dump truck in the back of the airship. It it wouldn't connect via a docking port because the dump truck was too heavy. So if I connected it via docking port, it would bounce around and everything create very very unstable. So instead I just put I just put the parking truck in a lot of put the brakes on 100 and then I'd actually have actual hinges that would come up off the floor and hold the dump truck in place cuz it's an airship, right? It's not going to it's not a jet fighter so it's it's actually really slow and it yaws back and forth and it goes up and down it just goes up and down it doesn't tilt it doesn't have any roll or pitch it just yaws back and forth and it goes up and down and forwards and backwards of course all right well ladies and gentlemen that's it for picture time thank you so much and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you liked what you saw please leave a like i know this is probably boring for some but i thought it was cool anyway i'm off to work and love you all take care we also have um, a membership program if you're interested, you can check it out. Pretty cool. Get a little emojis and stuff behind uh, your name and whatnot. But uh, I am Veos, and I will see you all in the next Kerbal Space Program video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Uh,